Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about two two bay NASes. I want to compare the brand new Locker Store 2 from Acer Store and compare it against the brand new TS253D from QNAP. These are two NAS devices available right now in two bay form factors that I think are probably two of the best two bays right now in the world. They arrive with a huge degree of hardware both internally and externally but for you know all of their similarities they do have one key difference between them in terms of hardware and it will likely shape your entire buying position but before we get to that let's talk about what these two have got in common the 253d and the locker store 2 they're both utilizing that brand new intel celeron cpu the j4125 i say brand new of course it's not that new but it's new to the world of nas and it's definitely one that's been picked up with uh, the majority of NAS brand in their flagship series. It's a 2.0 gigahertz processor that can be burst up to 2.7 gigahertz, and that CPU supports 4K transcoding, virtualization uh, with UHD Graphics 600, 4K transcoding, and loads of streams of 1080p, as well as a great uh, floating point there for a multi-user, multi-app environment. They also arrive with support of DDR4 memory, both arriving with 4 gig of 2400 megahertz DDR4 memory that can be upgraded to 8 gig of memory, which is pretty impressive between the two of them. Both of them are 2.5 GBE. Both of them have got 2.5 GBE slots there on the rear that allow them to support between 250 megabytes per second to 500 megabytes per second with link aggregation. Of course, they're both backwards compatible, but it's the idea that if you've got a supported switch or network interface port, you can get greater speeds communicating with the NAS and you can use it for photo and video editing as well. On top of that, they both arrive with HDMI 2.0, so 4K 60 frames per second on the rear of them, meaning that whether you want to connect a TV that's 4K so you can get next to zero latency while enjoying those in dense, dense, dense 4K files, as well as support of things like Plex Media Server, they both arrive with their own myriad of applications for handling multimedia photos, video, music in photo station, video station, music station, and looks good, sounds good, streams good. They're on the Nimbus store, uh, not Nimbus store, Locker store. I will stop doing that. So. They both arrive with support of virtual machines, but there is some difference between them on that. And they both arrive with support of surveillance, but there's some difference on that too. And they've both got support of uh, multi-tiered backup solutions from NAS to NAS, NAS to cloud, NAS to USB, and more. But as you will expect, there's a bit of difference between those as well. They've both got three years of warranty, and both of them are very, very good NASes. So how do you choose between these two? Well, there's a few key areas the first one is software now both of them do have their own high points in terms of software in the case of the 253d this unit arrives with probably better first party applications overall it arrives with their very own range of virtual machine tools with a linux station uh, and uh, virtualization station there's also support of their own container station application rivaling that of docker uh, on top of that, for surveillance, they have two surveillance applications as well as a webcam application, but with QVR Pro being very slick, very user-friendly, and very enterprise. There's also everything from uh, QDDoop and deduplication uh, options open to you. There's availability in file stations to use Microsoft Word with a plug in there, so you can open all the documents using Microsoft Word and Office in the 365 suite. They've got um, Hyper Protected for backing up VMware and Hyper-V environments to the NAS. And Hybrid Backup Sync 3 is probably one of the best, if not the best, NAS backup tools I've ever used. It's very user-friendly, incredibly functional, and very broad in what it can do. Even the Virtual Machine tool allows you to download a Windows VM and have a Windows VM up and running inside five minutes at about seven clicks. And a Linux and Ubuntu 18 VM in about four clicks and about three minutes, all of that from the device. Now, the Locker Store has a number of those features. It has virtual machine support, but it uses third-party ones known as VirtualBox. It's container station application. It has support of um, po uh, Portainer and Docker. In terms of surveillance, it does have a surveillance app in Surveillance Center, but it's not as good as that as the QNAP one. It has support of lots of third-party applications, arguably more than that of the QNAP. But in terms of first party apps, it does leave you a little wanting. That said, it does make up for it in a couple of other ways. First and foremost, it features BTRFS, although both of them support EXT4 as a file system, which is still very good, 
good, good file system, everyone. BTRFS has got um, faster snapshots that can be created with a far lesser impact on your system resources, as well as file self-healing, where checksums are created at the beginning and end of a transaction to allow data to be healed if needed, and faster uh, shared folder duplication and creation. Very good options. So both of them have got that, and both of them have got an HDMI output, as mentioned, but uh, although both of them have got a dedicated parallel running HDMI uh, window that you can access running parallel to that of the network and internet access of many other users at once, HE Station is the better of the two. It allows you to port a number of their first party tools to it and there's a huge degree of support of third party container apps out there for QNAP, more so than the Asus Store. They both arrive with uh, expansions that can be connected via USB 3 but there are more expansions open to you on the QNAP platform overall. And on top of that, it's worth highlighting, although both of them support uh, USB 3 to 5 GBE and 2.5 GBE adapters, there are more USB 3 ports on the Acer store. So you can probably connect more of them to this. But in the case of the QNAP, and this comes down to the big difference between them, I think more than anything else, even more than the software, is the QNAP has that PCIe upgrade slot. PCIe Gen 2 times 4 allowing up to 1,000 megabytes per second throughput for a card there. You can put 10 GBE, you can put NVMe SSD cache, SATA cache, or combo cards that have both, thereby improving the performance of the system in its lifespan. But the Locker Store has two NVMe SSD bays inside, which can be used for improved internal caching and improved performance of those file operations inside. That cannot be ignored. Because remember, you have to pay extra to get a card to do that. And if you want one that's got NVMe base, that's about 120. And if you want one that's 10 GBE on its own, that's about 100. If you want a combo card, that's like 170, 200 nicker. And these have already got the NVMe's built in. So if internal operation speeds are important to you, you may well already be drawn to this device because although you can improve those performance with the PCIe, you still have to pay extra to do that. And on top of that, it's worth highlighting just to weigh things up on the other end of the scale, that if you do install NVMEs on an NVMe card inside this device, you don't have to use them just for caching. You can utilize them for raw storage, something Acer Store still doesn't quite entertain at this stage. The idea that you can edit directly on super fast NVMe SSD is very, very useful and something that not a lot of brands, and by not a lot, I mean only QNAP, seem to be doing as an option in terms of raw storage. And I think they're clear enough on it, but that's just what I see in here. But in terms of build quality, you've got to give the Acer Store probably the lead, because as much as I like the QNAP uh, chassis, I'm quite keen on that chassis overall and all the videos that I've done. This is a nice metal solid chassis. There's metal trays. Um, this has that slidable front panel and these trays are plastic in design. And again, there's screws there and it's click and load trays to put a drive inside there. And it does support the latest um, a 16 TB Seagate Ironwolf NAS hard drive. So up to 32 terabytes on both. The locker store has got spring loaded metal trays and a metal chassis, which again can be uh, mixed feelings between those two because I know some people don't really like metal chassis because it you know it makes a little bit more noise with enterprise grade drives um, and also you know they can get quite hot because of the metal being used for dissipation to a larger degree and plastic chassis needing more ventilation because of that lack of dissipation based in the um, plastic chassis but that might be something that tips you towards the locker store rather than the QNAT that build quality that metal very sturdy quality that's built into it. You just know that metal chassis will generate more noise when they're up and running, so it's worth highlighting that earlier doors. But much like my Synology comparison, I've got to say that if you're interested in software, you're going to vibe more with the QNAP platform. Acer Store's software, and particularly in the Locker Store series, is still very, very good, better than it's ever been. It's just not quite there yet. And this device asks you to leverage the majority of your budget Oh, sorry, it's a 50-50 split on this between software and hardware. And the QNAP just seems to have better software overall. And probably a lot of the money you spend towards it goes towards that architecture. Not as much as Synology, and it's a lot closer between these two than it ever was between Synology and one of these brands. But 
there's still just a bit more polish and a bit more innovation in those applications overall, both the client apps and that of the desktop ones, and it's worth bearing that in mind. Let me know what you guys think. Which one of these do interested you the most? Let me know in the comments. Give me a little buzz there. Tell me which one you went for, which ones you know, spiked your interest. Click like if you want to learn more. And of course, it lets me know I can make more of these videos and click subscribe to be more attuned into when I next talk about the Locker Store and the 253D. Buy your nows from span.com. Visit me at Nas Compares, and I'll see you next time.